Hey guys, and welcome back to Balrog's Vlog. Wow, I can't believe it's been a week and a half since I've done this. I've been on vacation for a while, so I got some nice beach time, and I look probably like crap right now because I was in the car for eight hours, but I'm going to do one today, just because I have a lot of stuff to talk about. So the first thing is, uh, as I saw, a lot of you liked Earthbound 101, which is awesome. I got on Earthbound Central, it has over 4,000 views right now, and it's just insane that so many people watch my stuff. So I just wanted to say thanks for enjoying all of that. And then I'm working right now on f 101. I started the script a couple days ago, and pretty much the way that I'm going to do this is that I'm going to put skits to a minimum. Looking back to it, um, it seemed like it just kind of cut into the information, because the whole point of 101 is to try to get information, <laughs> information conveyed. And the skits were supposed to help with that, but instead they just kind of got in the way. So I'm going to try to streamline it a lot better this time around, which is awesome. So um, after that, um, F0 101 will probably be around 13 to 14 minutes. Short skits at the beginning, short skits at the end. It's not going to be nearly as long. And after that, I get to work on Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire 101. So that's very excited. <laughs> that's very exciting because it's one of my favorite in the entire series. So, the next thing I want to talk about is Q&A. You guys have asked me a lot of interesting questions, so I'd like to answer them. Even though I'm kind of losing my voice, I'm slipping over words, and I'm just plain tired. <laughs> I, I was in the car, and I fell asleep in the car, and I woke up, and there was just like a puddle of drool right under where I was sleeping. It was mostly because I, I haven't been sleeping at all. There was this hotel that I was staying at, and the hotel was just so bad. I, I might as well have just have slept on a styrofoam, because that bed was terrible. The it, They had those pillows that were kind of, uh, you know the pillows that have like nothing inside of it? It's just kind of like fluff. I hate those. Uh, my neck hurts like crazy. <laughs> anyway, enough about me complaining. Let's answer some questions. The first one is from the World Gamer 555 and he asks me, what is my favorite Mario character and my favorite game? Well, of course my favorite is Wario. I'm not... I'm sorry, my favorite character is actually Mario. Mario, of course, is my favorite. Yeah, I know it's the obvious answer, but I don't know, I just feel like I can relate to him a little bit. But, um, as for my favorite game in the series, definitely Super Mario Bros. 3. That's my all-out favorite. They had a bunch of variety, so many suits you could wear, I don't know, it just felt really, really nice to play. Not to mention that parallax scrolling, the, you know, like the layers in the background. That was always a great touch. Alright, the second question is from one truly Jonas93, and he asked me, what new Pokemon game that I would want? Well, after playing Black and White 2, after getting a bunch of scripts on the internet and trying to decipher what the game's all about before it comes out in the US, um, I've come to the conclusion that Black and White 2 is pretty much Game Freak's way of saying, Goodbye, we're going to start something new next time. Uh, especially since the main artist, Ken Sujimori, he, he hasn't been working on Black and White 2. Which is obviously meaning that he's working on a bigger project. So that's always really awesome. I'm expecting a complete reboot of the Pokemon franchise for 3DS. That's at least what I want. Uh, I mean, I don't think they can do anything else because pretty much what they did is that by adding all the gym leaders in Black and White 2, they're pretty much just getting people satisfied with people who wanted to go to previous regions. It's the next best thing. So, obviously, they're running out of Pokemon that they could put in one game. They're going to do that. That's my guess. So anyway, next question is from Alcator. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And he asked me who's my favorite lp -er. Well, I don't have a favorite. As with most channels, I have several favorites. I'm a big Chugga Conroy fan. I like Nintendo Capri Sun. I started watching Game Grumps a couple days ago. For those who don't know what that is, check that out. Um, I'm a big fan of Uber Hacks or Nova. Um, Delicious Cinnamon, who did the Vietnamese Crystal LP. That was hilarious. And that's all I can remember off the top of my head. There's tons out there. There's tons of great LPers. Oh, and Hayden. Hayden, he's a big Pokemon LPer. I love that guy. Well, not no homo, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, the fourth question is from Also Book Productions, and he asks me, would I ever want to do BNGR or Nintendo 101 full-time? Well, I definitely would want to. I hope one day I'll have enough subscribers that that could be a reality and that I won't have to work a part-time job at McDonald's to uh, get money for the semester. But hey, maybe that'll happen. We'll see what happens in the next month, huh? 
And the last question is from Sublime48, and he asked me if there going to be any other Nintendo 101 characters. Well, I had nothing's like put in stu <laughs> put in stone, set in stone right now. Um, it could go either way. Uh, I want to add this new character, Peach, which is uh, my 3DS. Remember, I said at the end of Earthbound 101, there, I, he'd give me a system that would be 20 years ahead of our time. Well, I don't know whether to make that an interactable character or just the machine in general. Uh, I don't know what to do because I don't want to distract from the information that much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the main point of 101 is to stay on target, and right now I'm just writing the script for a normal 101 and then altering it from there. So it, write in the comments what you think about that. I don't know, because right now I can't think of a way that it would relate to the game or how it would be funny. So let me know about that. So um, yeah, that's about it. I'll be back hopefully tomorrow or the next day with another Balrog's vlog. And I'll continue working on F-Zero 101. Hopefully it will be up in a week. So this is Balrog signing out. I'll see you all in a couple days. Bye. Thanks for listening. That's Mother, one. That's mother 2 right there.